Hey church, let's talk about Matthew chapter 18. So throughout this chapter, Jesus is continuing to talk about the kingdom of heaven and what it looks like to be a part of that. He talks about just what he's been saying the whole time. The kingdom of heaven is for the humble. The proud, the proud will find they have no place. Uh, he talks about uh, the temptation of sin is the temptation to uh, gratify self instead of uh, living by faith in God's design for your life. And so whatever's causing you to stumble, push it away, get rid of it. Um, but he says there is a turning point when when one of God's own is, is fallen, he's going to pursue with grace and love uh, and forgiveness. And then very deliberately steps into, okay, so you've received the forgiveness of your father. Now let's talk about how uh, the people who live inside the kingdom of heaven respond to one another's sin. And Matthew chapter 18 verses 15 through 20 is all about how do we respond when someone else hurts us? How do we respond when we're frustrated with the way that they, uh, you know, they run their business or the way they've spoken to us or uh, the, you know, the debt they have not repaid to us or whatever it is that comes between people. And you'll see in these verses, there's, there's nowhere that says, just stew on it. Or there's nowhere that says, go talk about it with those people over there and those people over there and those people over there and, and everybody get on your team and then we're going to go together and attack that person. That's not how it works. He says, go and talk to them face to face. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault. Speak clearly. That doesn't mean even that you can't speak with emotion. But be clear about this is what's gone wrong. This is the division between us. And if he asks for your forgiveness, then you've gained your brother back. But if that conversation never happens, then there's just division there for the rest of your life. Even if you think, I can just push this down and ignore it forever, and it will stop hurting eventually, the more that you do that, it creates brokenness in you that you're not even aware of. Go and tell when you have a problem. And then if they don't hear, go to one other brother, sister. Say, this is the problem that I have with this person. You know them and you love them and you know you, me and you love me. Help me understand more about this situation. And then together, the two of us are going to go talk to that person. And if that doesn't work, and then the church comes and it's not a mob saying, you're a terrible person. We want nothing to do with you or get out of here. You're a chump. It's the church going to this person and saying, there's a brokenness in you. And at that point, it's not even about that what's happened in between you and that other person. It's about this person's soul. It's about the brokenness in them and how the church is going to act like Jesus and pursue their righteousness and their health and their life because this is bigger than just what happened between two people. So often we treat the even the little things in between us like... Uh, they're, they're puppies and rainbows when in reality it's poison and snakes and the best thing for it is to talk to talk with forgiveness and love and grace and the parable of the, the servant who refuses to forgive shows that what comes when we don't do that is just destruction for us destruction for the people that we love why would we live that way that is not the kingdom of heaven so Talk with one another. Forgive one another. Love one another. That's the kingdom of heaven.